Hey, Matt here. I was reading on a forum the other day and someone asked, how does the Google Wonder Wheel Scraper work? So just going to show you. Um, first, it's kind of important to understand uh, about the keyword scrapers. The Wonder Wheel Scraper is a keyword scraper found over here. There's the original keyword scraper, which basically you put a list of keywords in and it gives you results based on the engines you choose and whatnot. So if you put in the word car, it's going to give you, say, 10 results on the word car. The Wonder Wheel Scraper doesn't stop there. It will then take those 10 results on the word car and then find results for those. And say it refines 500 results for the word car in the second round. It'll take those 500 results and then find keywords for those. So it automates the process of digging deeper and deeper and it'll go up to five levels deep. Now the number of keywords you're going to get is going to vary based on how many keywords there are for the original keyword that you punch in. So I've had results run anywhere on level five from, you know, a few hundred all the way up to over 250,000. So we go into the Wonder Wheel Scraper and let's just punch in car. And we're going to do, say, level three to start. It's a nice medium of the road. We're going to hit start. And it's going to run through and it's going to find some words on the on car and we're on level one now we're on level two it found eight keywords and then level three there's 64 keywords here and it's um, finding all the results for those and it finished with 520 keywords and so we click OK and here's all of our keywords and all off of one keyword here now we have 520 whereas we probably would have only had like 10 on the original scraper and then we would have had to do more manual work now it's important to note when we go ahead and export to file for instance, um, we'll just throw it on the desktop here and give an example. See, it only exported duplicates removed, 388 keywords exported to file. So down here we had listed 520, but it actually only gave us 388. But we still got 388 keywords out of one keyword. If we were to take this, say, to level 5 and run it, we would get a lot more results. And so we'll let that run for a minute. And then we can see that you can get a lot of results. Now, um, results can also vary based on your proxies. So if you're using private proxies, which I am here, you're going to get um, a lot of results very quickly. Um, if you're using public proxies, it's going to go much slower um, and have very results based upon whether how good, obviously, your proxies are. Also, um, this will get your proxies temporarily blocked, your IPs from Google, it can, and uh, at that point it just aborts scraping. So you can see here we are on level 4 with 1800 keywords to scrape for level 4, and we're just ranking into the thousands down here, and it'll just go on and on and on, and we'll just stop it. And so that's pretty much it. Um, just on that little few seconds, wound up with 3700 keywords, and after it filters duplicates, we'll have, you know, still a couple of thousand at least and um, you can get a lot more keywords a lot faster that way and harvest a lot more URLs so that is the Wonder Wheel Scraper